to a quick little mini-sode of, well, just do and Tamriel, because it's just me. You may be able to hear do in the background there laughing. Um, I just uh, wanted to pop in. Well, our cat had surgery yesterday, so we're trying to keep an eye on her. She's got a cone on her head, and uh, just in general, we're both pretty exhausted. We had a lot going on this week, so uh, I just wanted to pop in and give a quick update and try to log in to Deshaun, which has been an issue since the update because, of course, the new update dropped. Yes, I said dropped. <laughs> and uh, the Shadows of the Hist, which uh, came along with costume dying, character race change, name change, all that kind of stuff, um, which I've actually had some fun with the... <clears throat> let me turn the uh, game volume down there a bit. Uh, I've actually had some fun with the costume dice, which comes with the ESO Plus. Uh, otherwise, you have to buy the die stamps, um, which I'll actually showcase here in just a minute because I figured while I do this, since I'm not actually really playing with do, I'll just do my daily routine of logging into each character, training the writing skills, doing the daily writs on my main, and crafting whatever I need to research on my orc. So, in fact, I'm going to do this backwards because that way I can check what I need to research next on my orc. So, um, here is my Sorcerer Assyria Ashwing, which I had looked up common, uh, not common, but uh, Breton uh, lord friendly names. Uh, and it gives you a list of all the different prefixes and suffixes for both first name and last name. And it sounds a lot like Assyria the Dragon from Hearthstone. Because I kind of made it look a little bit like Dew. I didn't really try. I just kind of threw together a female character. And I know she loves Hearthstone. So here's a Sarah Ashwing. Uh, Dew is not white. Um, and I didn't make it a white character. It's just that it's a vampire. So the skin is a little bit lighter than it would normally be. Uh, <laughs> so... So here's a Syria Ashwing. We'll do a little showcase of my characters. I didn't have anything planned necessarily for this mini soda. Uh, the one thing I did want to say is uh, we do have, uh, or at least I do, uh, plan on doing a, a little um, power leveling series because of how easy it is to power level a character to 50. I figured I'd just do a quick, like, um, like every Saturday. Not even necessarily every Saturday, but like, you know, um, here and there on Saturdays, just do like an hour long of just uh, hopefully me and do just bullshitting and uh, going to the grind locations and leveling up a character. Um, I thought that'd be fun. And also I posted on Twitter to have people give suggestions on what character I should play, which I got from Wicked Wolf to play a Nord. And, um, and from that uh, kind of grew into what would be essentially a Nord Dragon Knight tank, which is perfect because I don't have a Nord Dragon Knight tank. Uh, or I should say I don't have a Dragon Knight tank at all, or any tank, or any Dragon Knight other than the Dews and Tamriel character, which, of course, I don't play outside of the show. So, um, so that's what I'm going to make. Uh, and if you have any suggestions for Do and what character she should make, tweet us at Dews and Tamriel what your ideas are. Uh, I was thinking she could maybe go with an Argonian Templar healer, and then I could be a tank and her healer, which would be fun. Something like that. I don't know. Something funny would be uh, awesome. Um, you know, just throw out some ideas of what you think she should play, and then we'll uh, we'll power level those to level 50. Now, she doesn't have any level 50 characters, so um, as soon as I hit 50, I'll be max level, and I'll be able to put on some, some nice gear and stuff, but... Um, but she'll still have to uh, get champion points as she goes along, um, which she probably won't after the power leveling, but whatever. Uh, let me train this. There we go. And check my research. Good on woodworking. I need a cloth, which I'll do a training robe if I have that. Nope, I'm training that. Okay. I do not have all of them. Yet. After two years of playing, I still don't on my main have everything researched, but I'm close. In fact, you can see here I only have three left. I don't count Nernhoned, although I would like to eventually 
get the rest of the urn honed. Um, I have quite a few blacksmithing left I have to research. Three, six, nine, ten more I have to do in blacksmithing. And then woodworking I've had maxed for a while, but that's easy because that only has six items. But uh, Except for the urn honed, of course. Um, what did I say I was going to craft? Um... I needed a cloth. Uh, I've been working on uh, just training because that's uh, pretty important for the grinding. So I'll make some training breaches. Okay. So yeah, send us your ideas and we'll do, you know, it, sh it shouldn't take too long. Especially um, you get bonus experience when you're in a group. Um, we're going to do Rings of Mara. I'll just uh, pop onto the Crown Store and grab a Pledge of Mara uh, to, to get that extra experience as well. Um, she's not an ESO Plus subscriber, but I am, so I'll get that extra experience, and, uh, just in general, you get experience faster at the grind locations when you have two people, because things die quicker, and, and so on and so forth, um, so if you combine the ESO Plus with the train a full set of training gear, which I'll craft for both of us, Pledge of Mara, and we'll use Sigic Ambrosias or Experience Scrolls, one of the two. Um, so we're going to get like tons and tons of bonus experience from that. And that'll just uh, help it go along a lot quicker. And it looks like I'm at a grind location on my Argonian. I'm drinking wine. <laughs> and uh, this is actually for roughly level 25 to 30-ish. And I'll have to kill these guys. Um... Down here, it's the far so southeastern corner of Shadowfen, and uh, this is actually my favorite grind spot. Um, it's a very large area, and you can go all throughout this area, and there's tons of NPCs to kill, and they give a decent amount of experience. They're easy to kill, and uh, they respawn quickly. The other grind spot in Shadowfen is up here, right there. That is the, uh, the Bog Mother area. Um, that's not as good of a spot because there's not as many. You kill Dreg there, but they don't respawn as quickly and there's not as many. So even if you're by yourself, because a lot of times the issue with the grind location is that there are other people there. So they're, you know, killing stuff before you can get to it. And it kind of throws off the rhythm of going in like a circle. I like to do, always do a circle. Um, and then the idea is obviously with the circle that by the time you reach the end of the circle, the first things you killed have respawned again. So you just keep going in a circle, killing and killing and killing. And that's why you wear the training gear because you're getting all the experience from kills. So, um, obviously if there's multiple people around that can cut into your circle and then you get to a spot and it's like, well, I guess I can't kill anything here because uh, somebody already killed it. Um, but down there in the Southeast corner, there's usually that's usually not an issue even with other people around because there's just so many enemies around to kill um train this um i'm actually um currently working on this because it went so quick leveling up the the sorcerer so now i have two sorcerers <laughs> one's a spellcaster and one is a uh, uh medium armor melee uh which is my orc which is actually ironically um a pet build uh typically you would think of a well, I guess not necessarily, but uh, traditionally, I guess a pet build would be more of a spellcaster sorcerer. But uh, but they do a good job of of kind of diversifying things in this game. So I actually really enjoy the. Um, I have both the pets. I have the the and the ultimate as well. Um, and then I use the two-handed weapon skills on my orc. It was initially intended to be a tank, and. I was doing heavy armor one hand shield while I was leveling, but I was like, well, this is dumb because I'm just leveling and that's not a very quick way to level. I need gold. Dues and Tamriel needs gold. And so I had switched to the two handed weapon, which was actually, that was the first time I had ever used a two handed weapon in this game, was on my Orc Sorcerer. And so um, I learned the uh, amazing fun of Wrecking Blow at that time. And so. I have not switched back. That's why I made it an orc, because I had planned on making a pet. I, I had originally intended to go with the pets. I wanted to do a pet tank build with the sorcerer, which I thought would be really fun. And I enjoyed the two-hand weapons so much that 
I never switched back from it back to the tank build. I have tank gear. I have like a full set of um, the, Yoku the Okita set uh, and stuff like that. Um, I've got a Bastion shield and stuff. I got, I've got, i got, in fact, I'm in my bank right now. I can take a look. I have a Valken, uh, Valken Scoria helm. Um, pauldrons of the Yoki I got Molog Kenneth Pauldrons, Helm of the Okita, Greaves of the Okita, all the Okita stuff. I've got a few other things like uh, a couple of pieces of Barra's Curse I just hang on to in case I get a full set of that. Uh, I actually have three pieces, which isn't bad. And um, I don't even think I have. Oh, yeah, I have a couple. Uh, like Fist of the Hive Lord would be good. Um, oh, I have the Hammer of the Rosalian Yokita, which uh, would go great with that set and then there's the bastion of the dragon uh that's the only um of the dragon piece i have i think though anywho <clears throat> oh i was gonna withdraw gold um and you'll see here i'm up to 336,000 gold because i don't know if i talked about this last week or not uh i joined the hlalu trading company which i have known about since well, for like the past two years, for forever, uh, they're obviously one of the most well-known, uh, biggest trading guilds in the game, and I, I didn't even mean to. I tried a couple of times before to get into the guild. I was looking on like Reddit, I was trying to find like if they have a guild web page or whatever, and I couldn't really find anybody. Um, and so I just randomly asked in, um, I think it was in the Goshkia guild chat, does anybody have a trade guild? Because I had some stuff I wanted to make some gold, and I didn't have any guilds that uh, had. A, a guild trader so I asked and somebody uh, was like oh I've got one and they invited me and so I joined that one and I'm still in that one and I still sell stuff on that guild store too um, and then somebody else was like oh I have one too if you want another and I was like you know what I have literally three open guild slots so I don't have a problem with that and they actually just <laughs> invited me to the he was even saying he was like uh, yeah there's it's usually full but there's three slots open right now so I'll send you an invite and then he invites me. I'm like, oh my god, it's a Hawaii trading company. That's awesome. So I've been selling a lot of uh, tempers and things like that. And um, those can go for as high as like 7,000 gold each. So uh, I have over 300,000 gold now, which is more than I've ever had in this game. Um, and I hang on to some that I need to sell because there's actually some strict rules. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't say strict rules, but um, you can... Uh, quote unquote can get kicked from the guild for inactivity um did i already train that yeah and inactivity can mean uh not selling at least six thousand gold i think worth of items in the guild store over a 10 day period so every few days i like to go in and just um drop a, a gold temper in there or whatever uh just to make sure i stay up on that and then if i have some extra stuff to sell i'll sell that too um, but I always like to hang on to some tempers just in case I have a dry 10-day period. I can just pop in there and not get kicked out of the guild because I wanted to join the Hualu Trading Company for a while. Um, but I sold a bunch of stuff that I've just been hoarding over the past two years and made a decent chunk of gold. And I still have plenty of other stuff I could sell too. Um, I'm not a big-time trader, uh, but I do have a lot of stuff and I do a lot of gathering and things like that. So... Uh, that obviously comes in handy having a, a, a kill trader in Mournhold. Uh, things will sell really fast at that kill trader. Um, so yeah, I uh, oh I, what I was saying before was that I uh, started leveling up that Argonian healer because the group finder is still kind of broken. And I was actually reading on Reddit today about that. And they were saying that, yeah, it's still having an issue where it's like some people don't have any issues, but others do. And that extends beyond, it's just a general grouping issue it appears to be right now. Oh, see, here's here's what I did with the uh, costume die. I took, let me log in actually on my main here. And I, I kind of like it. I liked my other costume a little bit better because it was more um, roguey looking. Um, this one looks more like a spellcaster would, kind of like a... Um, like a shaman or something like a tribal shaman but i do like the way it looks so even though i'm a uh, dual wield bow i i still wore it uh with the nice black with the white trim and i also bought the hat the hat is actually the um which i loved if i can log in here real quick mm. this wine is so good if you ever get a chance to buy wise villa wine get it it's good 
So the hat I'm wearing is the uh, Zen Vengeance Kiss Me Not cap. And this is actually a wood elf hat, which is perfect for my wood elf. Although I did consider switching it to a Khajiit because it's the same thing, essentially. I mean, the um, the racial passives are pretty similar for both as far as they're good for, you know, for melee slash bow slash whatever stamina builds. But uh, I actually really like it being a wood elf. And so now I got a wood elf hat. And so I took that hat with the, and this is I've had since they launched the Crown Store, the Valenwood Spinner. What I, the other one that I liked is the Wood Elf Vanguard. See, it looks, and it, not with that hat, but if I take the hat off, uh, see, that looks a lot more roguey. So it fits a little bit better with the whole dual-wheeled bow setup. But, um, but I thought this looked, uh, I, I liked the hat. I wanted to get the hat, and the hat didn't, as you can see, doesn't fit very well with that costume. So I switched it up to the Valenwood Spinner, which it very much so fits in with. I, lo I love the bone sticking out. It's really cool. So that's what I did with that uh, and spent some time dying at different shades of things. And and uh, I, I have an affinity for the uh, the black with the white trim, so I usually end up doing that on most of my characters. Um, and I also have the personality, but I think, yeah, I just kept it as assassin. Although I did consider, um, where the hell am I? Oh, this is from a survey map. I came out here. I did consider respecting my morphs and going healer to test out the looking for group system because somebody was saying they join as a healer and it's pretty much instant. Um, and so I thought, oh, well, maybe that's my problem. Maybe it's because I'm not a healer and I wanted to test it out as a healer, but I also didn't want to join a group as a healer and then drop the group because I'm not actually a healer. That'd be rude. But, uh, so I, uh, I was tempted to do that, um, which I might still do if we would fit my costume better being a healer. So I'm going to do my crafting roots here. So yeah, so that's kind of my point with leveling up my te uh, Argonian Templar, Temps Mini Lars, which is a hilarious name. Um, for one, uh, even if the group finder's broken or not, like just in general, healers are always in high demand and in low supply. So I would love to have a healer to always be able to, you know, nobody wants to be the healer so I, I don't mind I played a healer a ton in World of Warcraft uh, that's usually my go-to is to be a healer which was supposed to be my go-to for this game back in beta when it launched I decided hey I'm gonna make a healer and I know that like I get ahead of the game like I know in MMOs healers are always in short supply so I'm gonna make a healer and I'm gonna be the one that's getting into all the groups because I'm gonna be one of the few healers and I don't even remember why, but I did not make a healer. And I started with my Nightblade. And I wanted to make the Templar healer, but I didn't. So now I'm finally getting around to that. And especially with the new passives, um, the Argonians going to be better for healing. Uh, and I love the Argonians, as most of you already know. Uh, so it'll be nice having an Argonian healer. Temps Mini Lars still laugh at that name. I know I already said it. I'll say it again. Okay, crafting. Uh, here's that. Um, Say so just with one click, boom, it's done. The uh, add-on for the l lazy writ crafter. Uh, it doesn't work for alchemy, I've noticed. Or I don't know if it's because I got potion maker extended or not. That might actually just like interrupt it. But I need to create an essence uh, essence of ravage health. <coughs> Let me see. Essence of ravage health. There we go. Um, this is a little outdated of an, of an add-on. There, there was a better one, and it would actually tell you which ingredients you should use to um, discover all of the attributes of each region, reagent. And it stopped working a while back. It uh, didn't have the updates or whatever. Um, this one I like. It works pretty well. It's got some glitches, but um, I can't craft a Ravage Health potion or even poisons with this because it is a little out of date so uh that kind of is limiting for this add-on the potion maker extended um but it works well enough for my needs okay so yeah so hopefully i'll get that uh, argonian leveled up quickly uh i was i actually did use my uh my nightblade as a healer for a while especially in pvp so i have a full set of healing gear ready to go as soon as i hit level 50 i gotta craft some food too normally i don't have to because i create multiples every time i craft one and i was gonna make a cloth something and i forget what it was it was um was it pantalones 
Mm -hmm. So in here, uh, right there, uh, Dolgabon's Lazy Rick Creator. And I can just click Craft, and it'll craft all of them for me. One right after the other. Oh, and by the way, this is one of my favorite parts of the new update. Um, the max level crafting writs no longer require you to create sub max level items i.e. the night wood the void cloth the void steel which is huge for me because i don't usually have enough and i would have to go to a guild store because i'm not about to go farm it and the so now i don't have to worry about that because it only has you use rubidite and so on rubido leather and all that which is really nice so I'll craft these um but you do still get the you still do still get the void cloth and stuff from the survey maps. Uh, it's half and half still. And they also added, um, which thank God they added the leather, the fur traps for the leather, which I really would like. I would like to see m more easily accessible leather because everything else you just gather. You can just walk up to it, hit E, and you gather it. But the leather, you have to actually kill stuff to farm, and it's always harder to actually get, especially when you consider the fact that you can't get it 100% of the time. You can kill beasts, and they don't always drop the leather. So I, that's something uh, I was talking to do about recently that I feel like uh, leather could use a little bit of a boost with that. Uh, although it's not like leather's in that short of supply, especially because um, the easy answer is we'll just go farm all the other stuff, sell it in an auction house, and then buy the leather and leather and basically do a trade. Um, so there's always that option, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, okay, so for Scary Drew Sorcerer, I needed to craft. Yes, training breaches. Mm hmm. This is my daily routine. I do this every day. At the very least. And then uh, if I have time left over, I've uh, been hopping onto my my Argonian Templar and trying to level that up. Uh, I, it hasn't been going very fast because I haven't been, had much time to do so. Um, but the leveling does go super quick. Usually when I log on, I, I bought a couple of Sigic Ambrosias. And I can get two or three levels every half hour of using that. Um, so that's actually pretty good. Some people, I don't know how they do it. They, uh, well, they, I do know they go to old Arsenium with a max level and get power leveled up. But good lord, that yeah, to go from zero to fifty in three, three and a half hours is just insane. <laughs> like I, I just I can't see myself being able to do that no matter how hard I try. Um, all right. Also, uh, one thing of quick note, there is a crown sale going on right now, which I was very tempted to buy, but I'm really trying to cut back on spending, like, completely, so I didn't get any, um, which I don't need them necessarily, I have, like, 7,000 crowns right now, but, uh, 7,200, but I was actually just about to buy the, uh, ridiculously overpriced merchant, assistant because when you're grinding you loot the corpses and your bags fill up pretty quick and so i was tempted to get it so that i could just sell all the crap off um which i might still do oh i needed to craft food i forgot that there thank god there's an inn right here i actually saw some role playing the other day in this inn when i was coming in here to to craft for the oh see this one the, the lazy rick crafter doesn't work for the um and i don't know why for the uh provisioning writ either so I just need Muthsera's Remorse. Muthsera. There it is. Anyway, so I saw in the text that they were role-playing. And so I, I'm i not that asshole that's going to come interrupt somebody's role-play by being a troll or whatever. But I did kind of mess with them a little bit. Just not not really. They were upstairs here. I, I was looking around the end for them because I saw their text. And they were standing in front of this fire here. So I stood back here and I was on my night blade so I'm I was standing behind this wall here and I was kind of sneaking and listening into their conversation and then I, I, sn <laughs> I snuck past them and up the stairs and uh, was kind of spying on them and then I came up over right above them and uh, I got bored so I ended up jumping down on them popping my stealth and jumping down and then and then I ran off that's all I just uh, I just had some fun with that so I thought I'd share that that story but the the story was far less fun than me actually doing it so okay so my writs are all done i'll go turn those in hopefully get some survey maps collect those 
train on my last character and tr research on my orc and that should be it and then i'll also be on afterwards oh and i'm sorry if anybody's in the chat i don't have the chat up actually right now um you can see on the stream i don't even have it on the stream i'll just check it real quick here I don't know if this is from last time or this time. Are you guys... Wait, oh, she's not there. <laughs> uh, oh, it is from this time. Hey, Mike. Hey, Slags. Okay, we got Mike here, Slags here, and Dew has apparently been on the chat. Good, so somebody's paying attention to that. And it's always her anyway, so that makes sense. All right. All right, I got that all done. Um... If anybody knows, real quick though, because uh, I, I don't feel like going through one add-on at a time to figure out what it is, when I open up these freaking, <laughs> these, oh, it's not doing it now. A lot of times I get an error that pops up and I have no clue what add-on it is because the error, the UI error doesn't say which add-on it is. So I got at least one survey map here. I got two survey maps, Alchemist and Clothier. All right, I'm gonna go do those get my resources I was curious the other day what would happen if you kept your survey maps would it give you multiple ones of the same survey map and then how would that work because your map goes away when you gather the resources but the resources are in that set location and so if you had another map there would the more resources just appear after you looted, it or or would it not give you another map can you collect the maps or does it just not give you one if you already have one I don't know if it's like a unique item that you can only have one at a time of. Also, here's an interesting glitch. I have the add-on that shows on my map different things like fishing here. And then looks like there's some water hyacinth and violet corp cor caprinus, Namira's rot, whatever. But then if you look, the way shrine's actually in Chinese. And I don't know if that's a result of the add-on or the update. But... The way shrine's in Chinese. And, it, and then if I click on it or click out of it and I do it again, it goes away. But... I'm not even sure if that's Chinese. I don't know. It just looks like symbols. But <laughs> so that's a, a bug that I've uh, encountered since update 11. Um, okay. And I'll actually, yeah, I was going to say I'll be, I'll be on after I'm done with this. This is turning into more than just a mini-sode. Uh, after this, uh, to grind out some more levels on my Templar, because I really want to get that to max level and get going on the healing um here's my alchemist survey map uh the only thing is i i'll have to um obviously i'll have to go around and get a few things done like sky shards and stuff for skill points or whatever but other than that once i hit 50 i should be pretty fairly good to go um I know it's obviously helpful if you get like all the guilds maxed out and everything, but it's not necessary, especially for, you know, basic PvE content, doing like the in-game trials and stuff. Yeah, you probably aren't going to be good enough with without like the all the passives and stuff like that. But uh, for my purposes, it should be good enough just to hit 50. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to go gather one more survey map. Yeah, this is actually, this is going to end up being almost an hour long episode anyways. Tiffany's brother's behind me. Sorry, Nick. I had, I had, I had to mute the TV so I can do the show. <laughs> Are you playing Rocket? He's playing Rocket League. <laughs> Alright, let me head to the other survey map. Which I still need to try Rocket League because I've wanted to get it and try it. <laughs> And there it isn't. It's not Chinese though. See, look. And if I click again, it's it goes away. Let me try a different one. Like if I, yeah, I don't. Oh, I guess it is Chinese. Yeah, those are Chinese symbols. Boy, oh boy, Chinese is hard enough. But you're talking about tiny text like that. That's got to be hard to read. Well, I guess not if you learn it your whole life. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, one last survey map. There was other things going on, uh, but uh, in typical fashion, I don't remember half of what I was going to bring up. But I am enjoying this new update. I haven't tried the new dungeons yet. I do want to. I just, I'm, I think I've told, talked about it before. I just, I hate having to look for a group. 
Um, wait, if I have a healer, that's not going to be a big deal anymore. Because that's my biggest thing that I hate standing there for 20 minutes. Even if you're not, you know, obviously looking for group being broken and all. And hopefully that'll be fixed soon. Um, somebody was saying maybe this Monday. So that would be exciting. Because it was fixed for a little while uh, when I wasn't playing. And then <laughs> it broke again with, the, what was it, Dark Brotherhood. But, um, but yeah, if I, if I can play as a healer, then that's less of an issue when you're standing in zone chat. You know, you got, you got your tank, you got your two DPS, and then you're standing there for 20 minutes waiting for a healer. Um, I'm glad I got a clothier survey map. So you can see here's the, um, the furrier traps. They're just a box, and yeah, it's got a decent amount of leather in it. Let's see what it gives me. It's usually like 12, 16 rub rubido hide scraps. So that's a pretty decent amount of the leather. Um, and then you get two of those. So uh, there was actually a glitch on the first day of the update where it actually was not restricted to only the person with the survey map. So if somebody else ran up, they could steal your furrier trap. And it was only for the furrier trap, but um, they they pushed out a hot fix like immediately to fix that. <laughs> but that was that that would have sucked. And by the way, if you see a glitch like that, if you see and you know you don't have a survey map and you see somebody trying to gather it, don't steal their damn resources. That's a dick move. <laughs> but that's what, you know, some people try to get their grubby hands on whatever they can. Alright, I just need to train my uh actually <laughs> it's funny enough, it's the first character I created and it's very low level uh do and I were playing it together for the first couple of months after the game launched and uh it's the it is my character that is just named scary drew but it's only level 25 which seems like so long ago because now level 25 is nothing I can do that in a couple hours but he does um he does actually have a resemblance to me. I actually took the time. I had my phone in front of me, and I took a side profile and a and a front profile, and I kept like matching it up. I'm like, okay, but but my eyes are slightly, you know, compared to my cheeks, and I did the whole thing for like a good half hour or something. And it's you know as close as I could get it. Um, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, I'm not. I'm I'm really terrible at character design when I'm trying to make it look like myself. Uh, some people are just amazing at that, but it helps having a picture. To just like constantly reference back and forth, look at it, and then you know compare the eyes width to the j the jawline and stuff like that. Um, but he has the hilarious happy personality. Is it happy or cheerful or whatever it's called? The let's see, personalities. Yeah, cheerful. He's got the cheerful personality, and he just looks hilarious standing there. He's just kind of no oh, do to do to do. And he actually will um, like the uh, assassin personality has the the idol where he'll pull out the knife and flip it around. He or she. It, but uh, this one will like look to the side and start whistling and stuff. It's pretty funny. All right. Um. Oh, I already did that apparently. Okay. Well, get out of here. And I will just go. Uh, in fact, I'll wrap this up now because I'm just gonna go train or research the last item here. So that's it for this extremely long mini so Oh, and. Um, Knight's Knight had, uh, contacted me asking, cause he was, uh, saying they're gonna, um, I don't, well, I don't know if I was supposed to mention it or not, but I, I can't see any harm in it, but <laughs> they're doing some sort of, um, I forget exactly, forgive me, Knights, uh, it's, a uh, foods in Tamriel or something like that, or cooking in Tamriel, or some, some sort of cooking segment for ESORP, and so he invited us to come on, cause we obviously did a few episodes where we actually cooked some of the foods from in the game, and my orc is running on top of the bear mount, that's, <laughs> that's unusual, <laughs> yeah, I got video of it now, <laughs> that's hilarious, <laughs> I've seen some weird glitches where the mount doesn't show up and you're like running really fast in the ground or where you're crouched and stuff, but that's that's a pretty good one. Uh oh, I'm on the wrong side here. I forgot it was a clothier that I need to see. So yeah, so that's uh, supposed to be in a few weeks we're going to be on there. Um so keep an eye out for that. Uh, uh check out ESORP. Check them out anyways just cuz they're a great show. Uh, they went on a hiatus kind of around the same time we did, so uh, we're uh, simpatico like that. But <laughs> so yeah, they took a little while off and then did some um, made some changes to the format and stuff, and uh, it's as good, it's as good as ever. So it's not 
any worse or better necessarily um but it's still a fantastic show so check out uh, esorp and uh, you'll see in a few weeks there will be a cooking episode which uh like i said i don't have a whole lot of details on what they're going to do with that but it should be a lot of fun so i'm looking forward to that and training and i'm done all right i'm not going to do my little spiel outro because uh it just doesn't feel right for a mini sode so make sure to remember send us any suggestions you have for what race class role whatever of type of character that do should play male female make it big and fat or skinny and tiny or whatever send what you would like to see do play for uh potentially um i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do it uh the power leveling series so and that'll probably just be a video series because i don't know we'll see how the audio turns out if it'll be any any interesting stuff to listen to as a podcast but it'll probably just be a video series so uh tweet us at dudes and tamriel with with those ideas and have a great weekend everybody have a good night bye <laughs>